Hey, welcome back. It's Michelle and Miguel. And today we're doing another character design talk, and we're gonna be looking at Miguel's version of Queen of Sheba. Can you tell us a little bit more about who Queen of Sheba is? Yes, so she's also a major character in the Bible as well as the Talmud, and he's known to be in close connection with King Solomon. And so they were a thing, apparently, in case of those of you who haven't read the Bible or aware of the, the legend of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. Long story short, in my version, I was in the middle of getting a little bit better with the tablet, and I feel like this is probably one of my best works depicting mm. The Queen of Sheba, but once again, my inspiration comes from usually in modern pop culture and how I would envision my approach to drawing the human body and making up characters. So in my version, I immediately thought of just a loose idea of what the culture may have been. So we're talking like between Egypt, Middle East, you know, that kind of area, a very general idea of what she may have looked like. In my version, there's a lot of yellows and in gold colors that I, I kind of used. A lot of references combining representations of Sheba, as well as references of like female warrior characters in video games and anime. And I just simply combine them both, you know, very, very direct inspiration. And I just use very direct references. I didn't do too much research. I just wanted her to look cool, right? Like even those who have no idea who Queen of Sheba is, this would be like a perfect advertisement of like, who the heck is this woman? So strong, a woman of color, especially. Sort of getting the, the cultural uh, tidbits there, but still sticking to the fantasy world that I'm trying to envision. But I promise that after I finished this piece, that's when I started thinking be just a little bit more sensitive to like, okay, how would, you know, people like people of color would have been represented in that time. So what parts of your design did you choose to be more like a fantastical aesthetic? It's just complete fantasy. They're just pulling out of thin air and drawing inspiration from pop culture. So it's just completely made up, makes absolutely no sense. Especially the, the shoulder armor, like one looks different from the other. Is it for protection? Who knows? It just looks cool. Um, and so for her armor and the boots, it makes kind of sense because, you know, you want to protect your legs at least because you'll be running around and you'll never know when there'll be like things in you know, unpaved roads, you know, in the middle of a war. But see how like her weapon is like huge and that's not even realistically usually the size of a double-sided spear. Since that part is huge and like most of her body is revealing, I wanted to make the leg armor at least like kind of bulky and just like well protected kind of complements the entire like balance of the skin and the armor and the color of the skin and the color of the armor so towards the end of this time lapse you'll see that there's a huge contrast in those those two major colors that was the primary reason for that but nothing practical for the most part like most video game female characters yeah pretty much <laughs> Well, actually, I don't have much problem with your design if you were trying to go for that approach. I actually like the way, at least more meaningful for her to have these like armor to be more representative of her status. I love the fact that she does have abs, so it it's... I don't yeah, blame her if she's gonna show off her At abs. least her, her body mass makes sense in terms of like the physical attributes if she mm -hmm. were to be real, like standing in front of us. And because she's like a warrior queen, she would have abs and be muscly for, through all that physical training and fighting. Actually, there was a film that for some reason I, I just never knew existed that was a movie in 1995 known as Solomon and Sheba, and it stars Hal Berry playing the Queen of Sheba. And Hal Berry, obviously, a, a, you know, a tremendous actress, well known. And yet I just found out about this movie and this was in the 90s, you know, and I'm from the 90s. So that's something I was kind of surprised like, oh, okay. So that's, I, I would suppose the most recent Hollywood example. I honestly don't know of any current depictions now, <laughs> gender wise, it would often be Solomon. That's the most prominent and more popular icon compared to the Queen of Sheba. But nowadays we're, we're trying to revisit marginalized people from history, even prominent people. And so Queen of Sheba should be one that should be 
talked about more like hey you know what was she really like if she existed and let's try to represent more people like her i think there was a reference of queen ashiba in one of beyonce's songs for black is king music video i believe it's on disney plus so that's where i i think i watched it and it's a reference to queen ashiba being a legend that beyonce is trying to continue that legacy and so to me it means this character has become a symbol for the black community or black history. Even just recently, there has been this report of Queen of Sheba could have been a black woman or an African. Just African. Yeah, her skin tone, I guess not for de up for debate, but there was a discovery of like this Middle Ages imagery of Queen of Sheba and she mm. is a very dark tone character. And it's very interesting because it's actually very, very dark. And so it's kind of cool to see that come up, be used in that conversation in terms of how is she being depicted? Going back to what I said about how Beyonce has referenced Queen of Sheba, I think it makes a lot of sense because this character, in connection to this character you created, it really pushes that idea of a strong female warrior or a strong female person. And it's kind of cool because you got that gold color really match well with her skin tone as if her skin's also glowing so and it's kind of cool it, it like it looks like she's like radiating a lot of energy and especially like the way you depicted her eyes i really like this design it's very strong oh so, thank you i'm yeah. actually quite proud of this one this was like in the i would say like the middle phase of me relearning digital arts and I, I have to say i'm quite proud of that i did this one let us know what you think of miguel's version of queen ashiba do you think she's a really strong character do you think you can fight her in a real battle let us know who would win <laughs> obviously not you but uh yeah Ooh. so <laughs> But anyway, uh, we hope to see you in the next video looking at Michelle's version. So we'll see you around. All right, we'll see you guys. Bye.